Welcome back to our academic word list. It's the easiest way to learn the most common words in college classes. Let's learn the next five words, friends. Evidence. Evidence has three syllables. Evidence. With the emphasis on the first syllable. Evidence. 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 Evidence means a fact or something you can see, touch, feel that shows something is true. Who drank my milk? Did you take my milk? No. The evidence suggests otherwise. Authority. Authority has four syllables, a, thor, a, t, with the emphasis on the second syllable. Authority, authority, authority. Authority is a noun, and it has a couple of definitions. But we're going to stick with the academic definition, which is a person or a group that knows a lot about a subject scientifically. So when we talk about scientifically, we're not talking about a mad scientist sitting there with his chemicals and pouring things together and poof, making explosions. What we are talking about is the scientific method, which is first, come up with some questions. Second, come up with a hypothesis, a good guess to the answer of your questions. And then third, the research that you do to See if your hypothesis is correct or not. So did you know that a cat can fall 60 stories and not die? Really? Where did you read that? I think I heard it on a cartoon. I don't think cartoons are an authority on animal biology. Well, I still think it could be true. Theory. Theory has two syllables. We pronounce it theory. Theory. So even though there's an O written there, it's silent. The emphasis is on the first syllable. Theory. 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 Theory is a noun, and it means an idea based on some evidence. But it's not sure yet. Maybe it needs to be tested, or maybe it needs more evidence. Theory can be turned into a verb, and that would be theorize. Theorize means to make an idea based on some evidence. Still my time. I got a theory. We found you in the Fiji airport because you stole the diamonds and you were off to start a comfortable new life. Yeah, well, that's just a theory. Where are the diamonds? <laughs> Establish. Establish has three syllables, a, sta, blush, with the emphasis on the second syllable. Establish, establish, establish. Establish is a verb and it means to make something permanent or to make something that will last a long time. So you can establish rules or laws or you can establish a building or you can even establish your reputation. Yeah, well, that's just a theory. Where are the diamonds? <laughs> We're establishing an evidence trail. It'll never stick. <sighs> uh, it doesn't matter how many times I watch Titanic, it makes me cry every time. I know, it doesn't get old. <sighs> Leonardo DiCaprio is such a versatile actor. Mm. He plays so many different roles, too. He's good at all of them. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, he has definitely really established himself as one of Hollywood's greatest actors. But Titanic is still my favorite. <laughs> Every night. <laughs> This is a really beautiful campus. Yeah, and it was established in 1895. Oh, wow, it's been around a long time. Yeah. Benefit. Benefit has three syllables. Benefit. Emphasis is on the first syllable. Benefit. 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 Benefit is a noun and a verb. Let's focus on the noun. The noun means something good that you get from something. And the verb is simply the action form of that noun definition. It means you are getting something good from something. One of the benefits of working at Ben & Jerry's is that you get three, three pints of ice cream. <laughs> what? That is way too much ice cream. Yeah. I want to work at Ben and Jerry's. Me too. Our bonus sentence is Susan benefits from her husband working at Ben and Jerry's. She gets free ice cream every day too. In the workplace, benefit has a more specific meaning. That is something you receive from the company besides the money they pay you. Maybe insurance or maybe ice cream.